Good evening, I'm Lynn, and welcome to another day or a night at Utopia Farms. It's getting a little crazy, so I'm going to the barn at night now to help Arnie out because we're starting to get hit with triplets. I don't know why people want them. There's so much extra work. But here's what's happening on the farm tonight. You never had a lamb before, but look how curious they are. I have a real gut feeling that this is going to be a triplet. We're going to see if she has another lamb or not. The little hoop is pointed downwards. It's backwards lamb. Just doing night chores. Making sure everything's okay. Can't keep this number seven and 77 out of the trough, can we? Get out of here. You don't belong here. Come on. Out, out. Out. Come on. So we uh, just doing chores here at uh, at five o'clock here, and I just had a you had a lamb, but um, these these are all first time mothers right here have never had lambs. So they're gonna have lands for the very first time. They're they're actually due the date the due date was uh, yes yesterday I think. And uh, Lynn was concerned about how wild they would be because they never had lands before, and would they make a lot of trouble because there's nine Dorses in this group from the first group that were due. So you know what I mean. The first group was nine left. And then there's 30 some of first timers to come in. But I actually just pulled that lamb right there. And mother, I just pulled that lamb all the way from the back corner there up through these lambs. And it's funny how you never had a lamb before, but look how curious they are. It's just like they're, they're expecting to have lambs, but nature is just telling them that they're gonna be a mother because they weren't scared at all. And they were actually all over top of me when I was pulling the baby out. But just a little thing that I thought was kind of funny. You would think they'd be scared to death of you, but they are actually, it looked like they just can't wait to have their babies. But she has easily more. I have a real gut feeling that this you, that lamb, is definitely not a large lamb. It's not a small lamb, but it's not a large lamb. And I have a real gut feeling that this is gonna be a triplet. So right now she just had one. I'm gonna get it in the jug and uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to have it on its own. Or in other words, I'm gonna investigate in it. But I got a gut feeling I'm right with this. But I'll keep you informed and I'm just getting this cleaned up right now. So, people are probably going to say, why don't you just let it go natural? And yeah, at two in the morning, if I was sleeping, I probably would let it go natural. But I'm here, and we're going to see if she has another lamb or not. So we'll see how this goes. So there is another lamb coming there. It's uh, just one inch right there. And I'm probably going to help it. She's actually pushing it out right now. Girl. I'm just gonna see which way the heads are facing. Oh, 
girl. I'm just... Actually, she's doing all the pushing. I'm not pulling it all on it. And there's a lamb. It's, it's right in the sack. So, see that? I, I don't want that. Uh, so, I uh, that lamb is born that way. I don't want that. I'm here. So, I'm just going to break that sack. And there's the head. And the sack is right over the lamb right now. So I'm just going to wipe it off. Yeah. I just want to check if she's another one before she panics. So there's a nice lamb. Right, the camera's not really that good a position. Sorry about that. And there's another one too. Hey, Mom. She has another lamb too, so I am right. She has triplets. So I'll just give her a second. The other, the other lamb is there. There's a, there's a possibility that uh, the other lamb is backwards, I think. And so far, we have a male and a female. Just give her a second here. Why don't we just lay down there and let mom lift that one out for a second, okay? There you go. No, I know you want to get up, but just. Have a little bit of patience. I was waiting until I dipped that lamb. And we have another one here. Where is she? Where are you, buddy? Where is the other one? Calm down for a second. She's licking you off. She can't, can't go any faster. We're going to see what the other lamb is because I've got a suspicion it's backwards. So, 
Let me give this a go, Mom. You know what we'll do, Mom? We'll sit around for a second. No, sit around. Show people how cooperative you are. And you're just going to stand back there a little bit, Lamb. Come on, Mom, give me that lady. And there's our lamb right there. I don't know if you can see it. Just calm down, buddy. And see? The little hoof is pointed downwards. It's backwards lamb. So, I'm definitely going to get involved with this. See, back feet. Backwards lamb. So check and see if she has another lamb. Mm. No, nope, she's done. So that lamb was backwards. And now we got three. And we kind of have a mess here now. Honestly, stay back a little bit. There you go. So yeah. My gut feeling was right, there's three lambs. Since I'm right here, I might as well get that lamb right away. They're a female, I think a male, and probably another male, yes. So the female is the smallest one, and then the female has the attitude. Females have attitude. There you go. So Lynn probably won't like this. She doesn't mind this, but right now we uh, we have so many multiple babies. We're getting we're ending up with some bottle babies. So that's where you kind of wonder if we should have the machine. She has milk, and I and I do always find out that our triplets have a little bit of milk. And they come to the milk. It's just like they're putting all of their, their nourishment into the three lambs, and they're not produ not producing milk. But I'm confident she'll produce milk. Uh, she just had, she was just nursing all three lambs, and now she's going to turn around and start producing milk. I think we'll have to cut some of that wool off her back or off her sides because she has way too much wool on her. It would have been nicer to have them uh, share it off. But uh, these sheep are going to go into an environment here that's uh, really cold. And I'll show you when I'm going to the house. I'm going to have supper in a few minutes. And I'll just show you what kind of environment it is up there right now. So I'm going to have to feed these three lambs. And I'll, uh, just, I guess I'll just go mix them up for a second. And let you enjoy the lambs.
So we're going to start feeding the lambs. And I'd like to feed that first one first. Where is he? You're kind of a little bit of a mess, aren't you? There you go. There you go. You're hungry. That's all that's wrong, isn't it? So we'll try to get some milk in him. In him. Is just sucking in that holes right now. There you go. And right now, this mother does not have enough lamb, enough milk for these three lambs. Not enough milk at all. Uh, these lambs are going to go hungry be before they get their fill. The, cl the cloth room and, and this farm, anyhow, is a, is a no-brainer. Cause I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I think I spent, uh, the last package of Colossum I spent, I think it was over a thousand dollars. But I only have to save three lambs. And, and I have all that paid for, so. Listen, here we just see this for a second, I think. It was the last one born. See, it's just, suck, it's just sucking the holes as I'm pushing it a little bit. It's just sucking that holes right down. And we'll just feed this little guy slowly. Oh. This little stomach's got a swell here. It's never had no food yet. You okay? You okay? No, it's okay. So yeah, she's got her hands full now with three lambs. It's not what I, uh, it's not what I prefer, but it is what it is, and we're gonna make the best of it. And one of these lambs are gonna go on Milky Placer, which is kind of like a breaking even thing, but it has nothing to do with the breaking even. It's, uh, it's I got a responsibility now. She has three lambs, and we're gonna complete this. There we go. Take that out. Now we have one more to feed over here. And we'll just put this little wet one over here that she can lick it off a little bit. And we'll put this one over here. A little bit dirty right now. Nice lance. This is, these lance are from Casanova. Come on, no, no. No, no. Gonna go in real slowly when you put that first milk in because I'm sure the stomach is quite uh, uh, small and it's got to swell up to get the milk in it. And, and if they're nursing, they definitely wouldn't get it this fast. See, eh? well, you okay? But uh, she's extremely friendly. There's a little story behind this ewe. This ewe was uh, purchased purchase in uh, Humboldt uh, out in the prairies, Saskatchewan. This ewe, uh, we were at the classic there. And we were looking for some rams, and I kind of said the lid, these, these ewes were a pretty good uh, deal. I, I thought they had the right type. And I purchased a few. This I really like this mother, actually. 
She's not super big, but she's a well-set mother. So she comes all the way from the prairies, and she's going to spend the rest of her life here. So I just want to get some... Well, actually, I'll just lay these down, and I'll, and I'll pick these up later on. That's a real nice ram lamb right there, actually. Got a real deep tor torso on it. This is some lined up here a little bit with this one. Two brothers. There you go. And where's the little rowdy sister? But I think she's trying to hear so I'll just leave the other one alone. So there's nothing more I can do now. I think there's another Dorset coming in as we're speaking. So I'm just going to go and check it for a second. In other words, I'm going to go and have some supper. And I'm running the night shift, the night shift, uh, shift tonight, the, the graveyard shift. So uh, the last few nights has been kind of busy. So. Feeling really good right now, but probably won't be feeling very good around 9, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Probably won't be, but... So... And the, fir and the first day is the most critical part of the day. Uh, you got to be sure that they, uh, they, lock, they get fed, they lock on the mother. The mother has enough milk the first day. So if you can get past the first day, you pretty well have it beat. But the other little uh, lamb's trying to nurse, so I'm going to leave it alone. So I'm just going to tie this up. So there's nothing more I can do. And that turned out really good so far. I'm just gonna do a little quick check in the barn here. Oh, there she is. So, Chewy, I guess, yes. So the little white lamb that lays right with Chewy is actually the adopted lamb. And I swear, uh, she's, she's getting along better with the adopted lamb than what she is with her own lamb. So that really turned out well too. Couple twins, lambs. Couple twins in there. Another set of triplets. See, we're getting a lot of triplets, eh? So we're getting a little bit of bottle babies. But uh, yeah, we'll get past that. It's just a little more work. But see, they're all laying down. So it tells me they're doing, they're not, nothing going on. But let's just do a little quick check. These guys should have another bale of straw tonight, maybe. I have a few minutes. And I'm pretty well positive that that dorset right there in the very back there, see her there looking at me? Uh, she was hanging around with the mother that just had triplets, and I'm thinking she's gonna have a lamb tonight too. And that's pretty suspicious back there, but nothing right now. So go ahead, hopefully you can have a nice little supper. And I'll be back out. So this is why uh, this is why we uh, we don't shear the sheep off at Christmas for lambing, but because they're going to go into a large coverall, which is basically a tent, uh, really quite cool conditions. I mean, not not freezing cold. They're out, they're out of the wind. They're out of the snow. They're just just cold conditions, and you cannot shear them off. They need that wool to produce heat. So our system works way better if we leave the wool on. Uh, we did try it for a year or two to take the wool off. Uh, didn't like it at all. The sheep were shaking. They were cold, and if you're shaking, I'm thinking you're suffering. So um, the only thing I can say right now is, remember Groundhog Day? He's seen his son, he's seen his shadow, and he says six more weeks of winter, and he's right on the money. So, we're gonna go ahead and have supper right now. And we're expecting a few inches of snow tonight. Typical, uh, typical Canadian weather. 
And we still have our lights on the porch yet. Come on, Ben Max. Come on. And I'm going to see how Lynn's making out, and I guess I'll talk to you shortly. I felt sorry for Arnie because he's out feeding a bale of hay and he's shutting down the barns because we got kind of a snowstorm happening right now. And we had hardly any bottle babies at one point, but now we're gaining quite a few bottle babies and we just had those triplets that need feeding again too. So I thought I'd surprise him. He's at the barn and get all the bottle babies done for him so he doesn't have that to do tonight. Tonight I'm not going to hover over them. I'm going to let them go at the bottles by themselves and I'm going to hit the jugs because a few of the ones that came in the last few days have needed topping up. Uh, like the triplets and stuff. So I'm going to go do that and let them suck on the bottles. Well, bottle feeding took a little bit longer, but while um, Arnie was delivering another Dorset ewe who had twins, I fed all the bottles, and then we were talking about how many lambs we had. So I just checked from January 16th to February 16th, because that's tomorrow morning, and, and my other books in the house, so I don't know what that is. But for this one month period, that's what the stats are so far. They're running neck and neck, the Dorsets and Suffolk. The Dorsets are at 1.77%. And that is really good for Dorsets because Dorsets, I think, are rated 1.6. And Suffolk are rated 1.8 and they're 1.78. So like right on the money. But uh, the percentages are really good. So we're happy with that. So these are the last two we just had. Boy and a girl. And as far as I know, everyone's taken care of. Because I'm topping this little girl up. She's coming to her milk. I'm topping these triplets up. And this one has only one quart, one half, so I'm topping them up too. So it takes a long time, and I we had a feeling that Arnie was going to have another lamb, so I thought just a lot easier and quicker to get some help there. So as Arnie would say, it's ten o'clock. I'm leaving the barn. He's still in there. Um, he's just finishing off what he was doing. He put some more straw out for the Dorset pen because he thought there was going to be more lambing and it was getting pretty dirty. And I'm going in to do a video, get it uploaded. So that's what a day's like at Utopia Farms. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.